here's another comment um and it's got to do with what phys again what physics is versus what philosophy is <clears throat> according to uh, this uh, visitor says physics is the science which explains how the physical world works okay Okay, I like that. Uh, philosophy, on the other hand, and here we have a problem. The explanation of the fundamental questions about existence, knowledge, values, reason, and mind. Uh, it, it turns out that the first word there, existence, belongs to physics. Belongs in, not in philosophy, it belongs in physics. And that's where a big problem has been all these thousands of years, that people have included existence as part of philosophy. When it's not, it has nothing to do with philosophy. It has to do with the foundations of physics. And that's where we draw the line in rational physics with whatever has happened before then. Okay? But then uh, we have uh, these things, knowledge, values, reason, and mind. All those are opinions. That's religion. All those four words there, and art, that's, you know, that's all religion. It's religion because religion is not belief in God, disbelief in God, or maybe God exists. I don't know if God exists, you know, uh, um, agnostic. No, uh, religion is opinion. Religion means opinion. Personal opinion. And until we get that straight, people will, will say, oh, you, you, you call a a religionist. Yeah, she was a religious. She was a Hare Krishna. She was a, you know, a, a, what is it? A, a Jehovah's Witness. That's what she was. A Mormon going door to door, you know, selling Bibles. That's what she was. Uh, any person who uses the word knowledge, epistemology, metaphysics is doing religion. Okay? That's according to rational science. That's how we dismiss all that. We say, no, you're doing religion. So we don't care about that. And so let's get into that. Let's find out. Let's, let's zero in on what, um, what physics is and what, um, what philosophy is. Let me clear this here. Um, here's my side of it. Well, let's compare that just in case. Uh, okay. Here's uh, the visitor's uh, version and my version the rational scientific version. Physics, we divide it clearly, uh, very precisely. Physics deals with objects, causes, and mechanism. Physics deals with what exists. Physics is the science of existence. Philosophy, on the other hand, deals with concepts, and it tries to explain reasons and purpose, why someone did something. It could be something related to psychiatry. It could be something related to history. It could be related to anything that deals with human behavior. Uh, philosophy is the science of behavior, and physics is the science of existence. So now we can talk clearly about it. Why are they uh, explanations? Because that's what science is. Science is only about giving rational explanations, what we don't have today. We don't have rational explanations because no one has made a, 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 a distinguishing, you know, no one distinguished uh, science from religion. Uh, you know, we, we, they have all this uh, stuff where they bring in mathematics, uh, they bring in, which are descriptions, and they've... Uh, uh, essentially, what they've done is, um, mainstream, right? Uh, what they've done is, uh, they said science is descriptions. Why? Because mathematics is descriptions. That's how this thing evolved. There's no conspiracy. This is not an issue of conspiracy. It's the way mathematical physics developed since the 17th century so-called scientific revolution. They said, we're going to do experiments. We're going to measure and we're going to come up with equations to analyze or to describe what we measure, what we measure, what we think is there. And then uh, the interpretation, the physical interpretation, became natural philosophy. And that eventually evolved into science, what we call science today. And so the, it's the, the evolution of what happened since the 17th century that took us to where we are today when we have all idiotic physical interpretation from quantum mechanics and from general relativity. Why? Because the, all they did is math, describe. And then when you say, well, what's the explanation? What's the physical interpretation? And they say, oh, that's philosophy. And all that philosophy is irrational. 
So we still don't know how Mother Nature runs herself. We still don't know how gravity works. We don't know what light is. We don't know uh, uh, what is, you know, magnetic field. We don't know how a magnet attracts another, but that's philosophy. And so a person who wants that kind of information wants to say, well, how does the universe, what's happening out there in this invisible world? What are Mother Nature's secret agents? You never get to that because they dismiss that as philosophy. And a philosopher, he said, yeah, we deal with what exists. And then they don't define the word exist, property. Okay, so they have all these notions where what exists depends on the, on the observer. And at what we know, and know is, what did uh, Plato say of his knowledge, which is the, the, essentially the definition we have today, justified true belief. Belief is your personal belief. That's not what science is. Science is objective. Science only deals with what is independent of the observer. We have to kill all observers. Mafia style, we wipe out the witness. Once you wipe out all life in the universe, then we can find out whether God exists independently of all those uh, people who were believing that there is a God and that uh, makes miracles and so on. You have to kill the observer. Kill the observer. Uh, that's and with the observer dies consciousness, knowledge, epistemology, ontology, uh, metaphysics. You name it, it all dies. We get rid of sensations. We don't want sensations. No more see, touch, hear, taste, no uh, smell. None of that. Yeah, that's that's what we're doing in rational science. So until we get that underneath our belt, uh, we're going to have problems. We, we need to understand what rational science is. And what rational science does is get rid of the observer and make crisp definitions that can be used consistently. It's all got to be black and white because otherwise we go chasing around in circles. That's, that's exactly where we are today.